Good morning out of Goshen. Today, we built this ABBA brand patio gazebo, 10 by 13. It's awesome. Let me show you how we did it. First off, this box is definitely a two-person deal. Everything inside is nicely organized. We started off by simply just, well, organizing it by the number. Everything was clearly labeled. The box also included a handy sheet, so we knew we had all the parts before we even got started. The instructions for putting it together, very easy to follow and very simple. Line up the appropriate numbers on the poles and snap them together. Everybody actually had fun doing this. The whole family got to participate. As per the instructions, we laid out all the poles and connected them with the corner brackets. Next, we made the roof poles and snapped them together. It's already taken shape. This next step was much easier since there was four of us. As a team, we lifted the whole thing up and attached the top parts of the legs. However, if you're by yourself, you can easily do one leg at a time. The kids loved the fact that this looked like a little house. Next, the roof. As soon as we unraveled it, we realized which end was up. and the corners simply slipped on with ease. Back to their little house. Again, as a team, we lifted up to put at the bottom parts of the legs and snapped them right in. It's beginning to take shape. There are six locations to use these elastic straps to connect the roof to the bars. Really easy. We lifted each leg one at a time to bolt on the feet. Then we simply snapped on the edge of the roof canvas break time. Now, my favorite part about the ABBA gazebo, corner brackets. Four bolts hold together each corner bracket, making it very stable. Then slip on these little plastic pieces to cover up the silver bolt. Beautiful. Time for the screen walls. They attach on ease with Velcro. Then each screen part connects together with the zipper. This is great. We actually had a gazebo when we lived in Pensacola, Florida. Granted, no, nowhere near as big as this, but this one has a screen. And I'll tell you, even here in Michigan when the mosquitoes come out, it's gonna be gold. Now I need to point out something. One of the things the instructions did not say, I'll be honest with you, this is not a deal breaker. This is easily worth the money. But the instructions didn't point out how the screens exactly went. If you'll notice that this screen specifically over here actually has five places it connects to the bar, Whereas the 10 foot side, the smaller half, only has four places. We kind of messed this up a couple times till we figured it out. No cheap zippers here. They work great. It's the mosquito netting that really sold me on this gazebo. The double vented soft top roof is made from UV treated polyester that protects it from sun rays, but keeps airflow flowing through. The frame is durable steel construction with a high grade powder coat that resists chipping, peeling, rust, and corrosion for years. 
The bug netting makes a fully enclosed bug screen, keeping out those mosquitoes and other insects. All four walls have zippers on them. This gazebo is ideal for commercial and recreation use. Good for any small business, outdoor events, camping, picnics, parties, sporting events, arts, and crafts. This huge soft top 10x13 gazebo can easily hold a six seated table, giving you plenty of shade for your outdoor event. In the description below, you'll find the link to purchase this gazebo off Amazon. Be sure to enter the promotion code so you'll get an additional 15% off the already low price. This is a deal you won't want to pass up. Now we're Amazon affiliates. And what that means is we'll actually get a kickback from you purchasing this and we appreciate that. Be sure to check out Abba Patio's store too. They have all kinds of outdoor stuff for your home. The Abba 10x13 gazebo, thumbs up in our book. This patio gazebo is amazing. Thanks for watching. If you're unfamiliar with Autogotion, check us out. We're a family of nine homesteading in Central Michigan. We'll see you tomorrow. Until next time. Autogotion!